The question that everybody should ask about these um, Fauci emails is why is any of this redacted? Exactly. I mean, sure. You can redact Mark Zuckerberg's cell personal phone. cell phone. Number. Yeah. That's fine. But why is any of the substance of this redacted? It should not be. We are not talking about the nuclear codes here. This Everybody needs to know this. And when, when you talked about Zuckerberg wanting to make sure that, um, you know, verified and reliable information got out, I mean, those are, have become, in the social media word, world, code words for censorship. Um, and that's exactly what was going on. And uh, obviously, Mark Zuckerberg was not just some guy emailing Fauci with a few ideas. You know, I've been watching TV and I have a few ideas. He was the head of this perhaps most powerful social social media site in the world. No doubt. Um, many, many, many times a billionaire. So, of course, uh, he gets attention paid by Dr. Fauci, who is a kind of celebrity struck in addition to, to his other qualities. So, you should, everybody should be asking, why is this information being uh, censored from the Fauci emails? And then the role of censorship uh, in the um, in the social media companies, because we, I mean we've been seeing more and more how they suppressed censored information, which turns out to have been reliable. I mean we're still getting stories, by the way, based on the Hunter Biden laptop right. material. Right, it's real. They're legitimate stories. But, of course, days before the election, the social media companies, including Facebook, suppressed and censored that information on behalf of one of the candidates in a presidential race. So uh, we, we should be learning lessons here, although I don't, I don't think anybody will. But there are enormous lessons on the dangers of censorship and suppression, especially when you're doing it for people's own good. <laughs> 